Ah, there we go. That was our Mandela Monday Hero. Now, every Monday during April, Mary Rolf will be showing us how easy it is to use up leftovers. Now, she'll share her tips on how to cook economically and how to transform leftovers into delicious meals to minimize waste in your kitchen. And today, she is teaching us all about the wonder of lentils, which are healthy uh, pulses that are highly versatile and easy to prepare in both sweet and savory dishes filled with fiber, potassium, folate, and iron. Lots of protein, too. She can imagine why you do not want to throw these guys away. Mary, yeah. lovely to have you back in the kitchen. Nice to be back. Hey, it's been a while. Yeah, it has. Look, I'm, yeah. I'm loving lentils, you know, because as somebody who, who loves to eat protein and who kind of needs protein mm -hmm. in the diets, this is a great go-to option. And it's great for Monday because it's meatless Mondays, That's right? it. It's meat-free Mondays. Do you eat a lot of meat? I do. I do eat a lot of meat, yeah. Okay, so you could have 200 grams of lentils and it's equal to a massive steak. Really? Yes. Only 200 grams? Yep. Right. Yes. That's impressive. So, isn't That's that impressive. Good? That's great. I love it. But here we have a different variety. That's what we get. So in this South is what Africa, you get in South much. Africa. Okay. So you have your um, split orange lentils, red lentils. Yeah. And these cook the fastest, and so they get a little mushy. So they're great for sauces and uh, soups and stuff like that. All right. Dals. Um, here, this is a green lentil, and this one's better for salads and for keeping its shape a little bit more. The difference between the two is this is split, and it also has the coating removed from it, so that's why it cooks up much faster. Okay. And then this is uh, a brown lentil. There's also one called Dupuis, a French one, which is like a little caviar of all oh, the lentils, okay. which you can actually find in some of the um, specialty stores. Really? So all these three lentil, uh, types of lentils can be cooked up and actually kept in your fridge for the whole week. For well, the whole week, all so, right, so they won't go off. Yeah, and what the biggest, and you can also freeze it. Okay. But the biggest problem with lentils, which I find, is that you have a pack of lentils, you yeah. cook them up, and then you have leftovers, and I always see people going, eek. Throw it away. Throw it but away. like I said, you do not want to throw it away. But no. listen, uh, in terms of nutrient value, all these different three, three mm. different lentils, are they all pretty much similar? Absolutely. All They're the all the same. And they're all great for protein, potassium, iron, all the great and things the fiber that we, we need. mentioned as yes. well. What do we have here? So these are kind of fun. They've just actually started growing. They're sprouted lentils. Okay. And you can put these on top of a salad. Once they've all sprouted, they have these little salad -y type things happening. Yeah. And these are great. And all you have to do is soak them in water overnight. Oh, and that's a, another thing about lentils. You never have to soak them. Yeah. You can cook them up right away. Okay. So you soak these overnight. You put them in this little jar that you can get from having, yeah. I don't know, recycling. This is recycling. That's it. And then <laughs> you, uh, then you put this little, um, now, what is this screen on? on yeah. Yes, with an elastic from your vegetables. All right. And every day, twice a day, you rinse them, and they slowly sprout into this. Are you this. serious? And this you pay a lot of money in a store to yeah. buy. And you can, this has only been three days, but in six days, it's done. That is incredible. Yeah. All right, that's a little nice project for you to try out at home. But listen, Mary's going to be back with us a little bit later on. She is talking about, of course, how to not throw away lentils and rather use them in delicious recipes. You do not want to miss that. Right now, so over to Zoe. Well, thank you, Ewan. Well, keeping with that topic, you know, when you think of bruised apples, floppy herbs and squashed grapes, you might not be considering it to be acceptable ingredients for most home cooks. But one environmental Instagrammer is taking it upon himself to prove otherwise. Now, Josh Treoft, he is a designer and an environmentalist who takes on photos of his family's compost and foods that he's uh, that has been thrown out. Now, not only does he highlight the fact that most of the food we still throw out can still be used in some way, but he also shows a beautiful take on repurposed food. Now, besides his very interesting Instagram account, Josh is also the brains behind the Salvage Supper Club in New York. It is a dining project created to address the amount of food wasted every day. Now, he educates diners about food waste um, via e a lot of multiple course meals served in a dumpster using the odds and ends that are usually thrown away. Now, this unique dining experience, he then donates a portion of the profits to various NGOs who are working on reducing waste and ending hunger. It is an absolutely an amazing count, an account. So if you'd like to give Josh a follow, see his creative leftovers, give him a follow on Instagram at the Truoft. That's on Instagram.